Hi there, this is Matt. I'm going to wrap up this first set of 5x5 lessons by talking a little bit about files and applications and how they work together. In order to do anything with a file, you have to use an application. For every different kind of file, there is a specific application that the system will use to open and work with that file. There is one way I can take a quick look at a file. So long as I don't want to make any changes or do anything more advanced, I don't have to go to all the trouble of opening the file's application. I can actually get a pretty good look at it from the finder. This feature is called Quick Look. Here's a file on my desktop. I can tell from the thumbnail that it's a picture of my dog and my cat, but I'd like a better look. I click once on the file to highlight it, and then hit the space bar on the keyboard. The image comes up full size on the desktop. If I click space again, the image zooms back out. I could use this feature to quick look through a folder of files. For example, if I open the All My Files collection in the Finder and go to Images, click on the first one, hit Space, there's Quick Look. If I now hit the right arrow key, which is the bottom right of your keyboard, I can flip through the images in that folder and then hit Space when I'm done. So I know that I can open a file by double clicking it. And what happens is that the application, in this case preview, launches and opens this file. Another way of doing the same thing is to open an application from the dock, click file, open, and then navigate to that file and click open. Of course, the dock only shows you a small subset of all the applications you have installed. And I showed you last time where your programs actually live in this folder called applications. But there's another way to view installed applications. It's called Launchpad. Launchpad is this rocket ship down in your dock. If you click it, you see this grid of apps which looks a lot like the screen of an iPad or an iPhone. And that's the point. Apple wanted to provide a way for people who are used to the way that apps work on a device to see the same arrangement on their Mac. You can even use a swipe with your mouse or trackpad to go left or right across the list of apps. These are shown to you alphabetically. Another thing you can do here, just like in iOS, is to create folders that contain multiple apps. I can drag one app onto another one, let go, and click out. And now I have a folder that contains those two applications. I can also search up here at the top for an application I want to find, and then click that icon to launch it. I want to talk about installing a new application. For example, I want to install the Google Chrome web browser. I go to the site, click the download button, the download starts. I can get to it either from the arrow up here or from my downloads folder. The downloaded file is called googlechrome.dmg. Now that isn't the actual application. It's a sort of box that the application comes in. If I click on that file, the next thing that happens is that the box opens and shows me the application. Here it is. But I still have one more thing to do. I have to actually install that application in my applications folder. And it just so happens that the installer for Google Chrome shows me a shortcut for my applications folder. Now it doesn't have the word applications, but it does show me the A, which is the same symbol on my applications folder. What I have to do now is drag this application into the shortcut, like this. And now the file gets copied to the Applications folder. Here it is on the left. If I now want to add Google Chrome to my dock, I can grab it and drag it down here into the dock and let go. If there's no Applications shortcut in the installer, just open a Finder window, go to the Applications folder and drag it in that way. Now, once you install an application, what do you do with all the old download files? You really don't need them anymore. Let's see what we have. In my downloads folder, I have an old installer for Skype, Firefox, and Chrome. I happen to know that I've already installed all three into the applications folder. I can select all three, right click, and move to trash. Well, time may be an illusion, but we still need to wrap it up. I hope this short series has been useful. The other lessons will go into more depth about staying organized, searching for files, the cloud, 
security aspects of the Mac, and lots more. If you have a specific question or an issue you want me to cover, please let me know and I'll try to include it. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Music